Hello and welcome to another video and today we're looking at um, another Yandex release but oh, for the competition. <laughs> um, anyway, this is a collection of four adventure games. So I guess one, two, three, four. Uh, of course, none of it's in English. Uh, first of all, it says Back to Earth. Back to the Earth is a space adventure game with some arcade elements. Major Pistolev and Pistolev Factory are adventure games, while Danceroid is amazing. I quite agree. Danceroid is a maze adventure. All four projects belong to the roguelike genre, so the worlds are procedurally generated. First released in the late 80s by the same author, the games received significant improvements in 2022. <clears throat> the games are compatible with physical MX, MSX and MSX2 computers, but can also run on blue MSX and open MSX emulators. I'm using the blue MSX emulator. Putros, Putros, Gali. Uh, the loader and Danceroid games support mouse input when played on MSX2. This contains English and Russian versions for MSX. Three bonus games for MSX2 and an English manual. Um, I seem to have got the uh, Russian versions then. Hmm. But there's only one. There's only one um, option for it. So. What else for Josh Garley? Um, well, let's um, yeah, we'll just go with the first one. Oh, I hit the second one. I have to press enter. I press space. It seems to have done so. Well, it's just frozen. Oh, hang on. So this is Major Pistolov. Um, Major Pistolov, an adventure game. Okay. All right. Okay. So now I'm controlling him. Until then, I wasn't controlling him. Um, well, I've no idea what I picked up there. Oh, why does water, a little bit of water, always kill you? So like when you're at school and you and you go into the swimming pool, and there's a little bit of a foot bath to, uh, not the Amico, a foot bath to clean your feet. You don't suddenly drown and die in that, do you? Yeah, that's how you open a door by shooting it. Seems very angry. Can I go up the stairs? Yes, so holding, going right and holding up. Then I get that. Going up. I got, can I... I've got all those keys. That's good. Can I? Oh, brilliant! In the water again. So. Dead. It says the worlds are procedurally generated, but so far it's the same thing. Um, but I'll go up there. I'll get the keys first of all. That seemed to work without dying. Um, that should reminds me of. Oh, we use one key to go in there. Oh, and got that. It reminds me of a bit of um, it's like a sort of, like a castle quest on the Atari ST. It was it Atari ST? Yeah, Atari ST. Oh, that was a hell of a game. I love that. I actually found a. I keep meaning to play it. I found a a, a walkthrough, should we say, online. Oh, I've got an extra gun, thank you. Uh, a walkthrough online where you can literally complete it in about <clears throat> about two minutes. But it's just ridiculous in how it works out. You need to have sort of second second sight just to, to make it work. Hang on, let's go up. Uh, we'll see what's going on there. Looks like an elephant head. Mm, I can't seem to shoot the door open. Oh well. I 
not seem to pick it up. Maybe I've got too much, carrying too much? I don't know. Um... Bitcoin? Bits of coin? Let's go down here, see what, see what I can see down here. It's quite a nice uh, screen change. Um, no idea what that is. Um, like, oh, hang on, yeah. No. It looks like kind of similar to, excuse me, <coughs> similar to what I just saw upstairs. I think. That crown, like a tiara. A little bit of ladder. Kind of handy. This is really handy. Um, yeah, brilliant. Uh, this is a bloody confusing game. Even, even just as a basic platformer, it's not. There's so much random shit going on. It's, it's not at least. It's not a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit clued in as to where I'm supposed to go. This is bizarre. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go back to uh, the, the main, main menu. We'll try the other platform first. Okay, so just... Uh, Restarted the uh, emulator. I spotted at the top left, uh, sorry, top right, there's a Russian English thing. So that makes it easier. Now I can see what I'm bloody doing. Uh, so, right, pistol off at the factory. Let's see how far we get with this. Any time today. Episode 2 Director. Where's he going? We looks a bit dangerous. Shooting the door open. Try that in real life. Number of buttons. I've no idea what's going on. Shoot all buttons. Okay, so we've got two buttons. <coughs> um, ah, not secret. For Lieutenant Colonel Pistlov, do not eat. At one of our factories, robot director dismounts all the uh, all the robots that work together with him. You must shut off this crazy director because this mantle of subordinated robots is forbidden by law and can be qualified as damage of federal property. Some robots can help you. Hmm. Safe key. <coughs> These are safes I can't open yet. Wait a minute, I mean wait. Jackhammer, yeah, those always come in handy. No idea what that is. Could 
controls for this feel like it should be a Donkey Kong game. We've got some boots! Boots and cats and boots and cats. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Oh, got in the safe. Well, this is convoluted. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Whee! Oh, that's going to be handy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Is that, um, to burn my finger there, or...? Oh, I'm using up my boots. My boots is going down. Are they protective boots? Yeah, they're protective boots. Stopping me from dying. Oh, this is just, yeah. Oh, game over, that's handy. I'll be honest, I'm not really feeling this at all. Maybe it's, um, some people enjoy it, but, um, there's too much random weird shit going on. Um, also reminded me a bit of, like, sort of Blagger, the son of Blagger on, um, Beauty Model B, which is, uh, some sort of, yeah, the graphics were, because of, the characters were, were sort of wide graphics, sort of stretched heads and things, it was just not great. <clears throat> and the back of the day, you'd pay about eight quid for something like this, so, yeah, let's go back to, uh, where are we? Let's start the whole thing, stop. Run. So, we'll have Back to the Earth, a space adventure game with some arcade elements. Try and uh, make sense of that. Get back to the menu. Any time today. Back to the Earth! Oh god. As a result of the unexpected hyperspace storm, your starship ended in an isolated galaxy somewhere in deep space. Unfortunately, you cannot come back to the Earth or send a signal there because your hyper engine is broken. Hyper receiver is destroyed and memory crystal crumbled into dust. Luckily, all other equipment survived. You can fly through the galaxy and on the planets and talk with inhabitants via your onboard computer. For some time, the Earth will hope. Uh, some time, Earth will hope. Could do some uh, punctuation here. So for some time, Earth will hope that you are alive and will be waiting for your signal. Good luck. Okay. Uh, left and right flight direction control. Look around when landing. Cannon manual targeting. Increase speed, take off, and decrease speed, etc. Graph objects usage. And your cannon control, space, communicate with already discovered civilizations. X for hyperspace and jump. Hyperspace jump. Uh, number one. Challenge level one. Creating a galaxy. Checking the galaxy. Mm, Cadbury's galaxy. Speed up, speed down. Hmm. So turning left and turning right. Oh, something's coming towards me. We can recharge your shield and need nothing from you. Oh, thank you. We can give you Crimbler and never need, uh, need nothing from you. Pressing space. What's that doing? Uh, I have no idea what's going on here at all. Speed up. What do we want there? Hit. I'm going to the corner of the map now. I'm going to fall off the edge. No, it's just sending me around, um, it's just wrapping around. It's, it's sort of a bit like Star Raiders, but really complicated for the, for the sake of it. Hit. 
down for landing. Yeah, press down. Uh, I press, try to press down and it's not doing anything. Yep, yeah, not, it's not doing it for me at all. What's the other game? The other game is Dance Droid, a maze adventure. Just, um, yeah, let's just start again. Danceroid. Hit the space key. Press the any key. Control Danceroid with the cursor keys. Use fire for long range scanner info. Graph and cursor to select inventories, escape exits. Gnome's replication depends on how many flowers you give them. Good luck. Let's just start on level one. Boogie on down. Get a key. A disc. Windy pops. Very awkward sort of um, movement. Is that good? Is that good or is that bad? I've no idea. No idea. Kind of looks like it could be good and bad. Hmm. I don't seem to have died, so... I seem to lose points every time I move. Can't help that. What's going on there? Select, use. Go back to the computer and um, see if we can use a disk in the computer. Here, remember when we could use disks in computers? Can't use it yet, okay. Good God. Um, I guess I can only open a pink door. So I've used the key and um, it's not done the thing. Brilliant. That seems to have changed colour. Can I do that? Open. Ah. This is confusing. This is going to be a very slow game. I 
Okay, just um, cabbages. Mm, cabbages, lettuce. Oh, I'm looking out that way. Oh, there's lasers I play this, but yeah, I'm not. Oh, come on. No help there, can I do the one down there? <coughs> As a last resort, I'll just see if the, the key works on the computer. Mouse gone dry. No, that's it. <coughs> um, I have no idea what's going on with this. Very, very bizarre. So that's uh, a collection of four adventure games, it's called. So, um, yeah. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. In the meantime, please like this video, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, click on the bell for all notifications. Oh, cute Genesis.